on my way now. You just give me a... everyone so you just saw what I do in a typical morning right now you know work out eat my breakfast kind of take the day slower in the mornings it's about 9 45 right now so I'm gonna shower and get ready for my day and I'm so excited because this video is sponsored by Osea and I love their products and we're gonna do like a little get ready with me morning routine so let's get into it So now that I'm all clean and showered, we're gonna go in with the Andaria Algae Body Oil. This stuff is really amazing. And we're gonna put it on our skin. After you dry brush and then you put this on, your skin just feels so, so nice. And I just really love Osea as a company. They're really incredible. All their products are vegan and gluten-free. They're made in California. And I've tried so much stuff from them, like so many products and everything is great. It's really high quality. It's really amazing. And you can use the code Francesca underscore UAO for 10% off your order. Now, let's moisturize my skin up. Here's my skin before, so let's revitalize it. And look, I just love how it makes your skin look. Look at that shine. It just makes your skin so glowy and beautiful. It smells good. My favorite thing is the scent. It really smells like you just spent the day at the spa. We, of course, gotta put it on our arms. I've been using this body oil for a few months, maybe like six or seven months now, and it really is amazing. And now I have nice glowy skin for the rest of the day. Something else I love, it doesn't make your skin feel greasy. I have to put on my space skincare, so let's do that real quick. I'm gonna go in with the Osea Ocean Eyes. This is a little roller ball. And you just go like one, two, three under the eyes, and it makes them feel so nice and rejuvenated. Sometimes I do a little bit more than three. Then we're going in with the Hyaluronic C Serum. I'm turning 30 in November, and I've been like really feeling like I gotta be good about my skincare. Press that into the skin, it feels nice. And the last thing we're gonna go with is the C Biotic Water Cream. And this is really cool, it's nice and lightweight. It feels really good on the skin. And put it on. And now I feel glowy and more complete. And like if I don't wanna put on makeup, at least my skin isn't like moisturized and nourished. I'm now ready to take on the day. My skin feels so good. My whole, you know, my body, my face, everything feels great. If you have been wanting to try Osea, I really suggest you try it out. Link is in the description box down below. And again, use my code for 10% off your order. I'm a big fan of Osea. I've been using them for a very long time and I really, really enjoy their products. So again, thank you to Osea for working with me and I'm gonna pop on a little bit of makeup and then we'll keep going with the rest of the day. It is 12.19, I put on some makeup. I had to edit something, but I have to send it off to a brand real quick, so I'm doing that. And then I'm gonna take a quick ride to Trader Joe's. There are a few things I wanna get. I have an appointment at three o'clock, so we just gotta go quick and grab a few things. And yeah, I feel like I wanted to do one of these videos because we haven't done one in a long time. And I always like to show you guys what I eat in a day because as much as I love sharing the recipes, you know, what I eat in a day are a little bit more realistic. To everyday life so like right now i've been on a really big smoothie kick and if you've been here for a while and see my other what i eat in a days then you actually know that i was not like a smoothie girl for a long time but i don't know i've been like really into it i've been like loving this protein powder that i'm having so it makes me want to have smoothies so that's been fun and you know i'm still working towards my weight loss goals and i've been in a big plateau for a while but i'm finally like getting back into everything i've been consistent i just haven't like been 120 percent committed to like making weight loss my goal but i'm turning like i told you guys earlier i'm turning 30 in november and i made a promise that i want to be like lose like another few pounds before i turn 30 and you know this is just for my own personal goals but i'm just sharing with you guys you know what's going on and everything but i always hope that you know these what i eat in a days can help you just get some ideas and just you know get creative with your food and make everyday eating fun so we're gonna go to Trader joe's i always intend to vlog when i'm in there but it just becomes too chaotic so we'll see but i'm not going to bring the big camera oh and then i have something else exciting that so i hope you guys have noticed a difference because i just got a new camera so we are in 4k 
you're it's like you should you're here with me in the room i hope <laughs> um and i'm so excited i you know videos are videos are here now they're not going anywhere on instagram on tiktok on facebook everywhere and obviously youtube so i really hope you guys can see a difference now in these videos um and that's exciting but i'm not gonna bring the big camera with me i'll just bring my my phone and shoot like there like that so yeah i'm gonna send this email put on actually i don't know i kind of want to stay in this sweatshirt it's like not a super nice day outside it's like a little bit cloudy so maybe i'll just stay in this sweatshirt and just throw in a pair of jean shorts we'll see so let's check out the garden real quick before i go to trader joe's look the tomatoes are finally they're they're turning i'm so excited and we have these eggplants wait but the, but the baby eggplant is the cutest thing ever like you can't tell me that that's just not the most adorable little thing you've ever seen still waiting on a lot of these tomatoes to come in we i've also been picking some off as they come oh that one down there is red too that's so exciting and then we have a zucchini we had actually so this was all full of zucchini here and a few of them died so we had to get rid of it and we've been getting a lot of zucchini but i love this little garden this is like we have tons of fresh basil still i love the garden it's been so much fun to have i am home from trader joe's so let me show you what i got they had so much stuff i was so excited because i've had a lot of trouble finding stuff lately and they had a lot of stuff so I got these coconut cashew nuts the vegan brioche i've had this already it's so good i've made french toasters with it i use it to make like my breakfast stuff with sometimes delicious vegan tzatziki one of my favorite products they make it's really awesome some other cashews these are the thai, thai lime chili cashews i haven't tried these yet and then these are the sweet the oh my goodness the chili and garlic and these are really delicious the calabrian chili because i watch wishbone kitchen on tiktok and she's been obsessed with it and it made me want to try it and some olive tapenade i love olive tapenade the frozen vegetable pad thai is really great and of course the kale pesto i love this pesto some tofu this tofu is my favorite it's like nice to make recipes with it's really good i don't know it's my favorite tofu the korean beefless bulgogi i had this recently and it is delicious my non-vegan boyfriend ate it and he really liked it so good go get it after literally months months of them not having them it's finally back the taiwanese green onion pancakes and i got two of them i felt bad taking more I wanted to save them for everyone else. This is a new find that I'm really excited for. The turkeyless ground because their turkey, their vegan turkey burgers used to be like my favorite and they got rid of them. So I hope this is like the same meat, meat in here. And these tortillas are great. I really love them. That's the haul. I'm going to put everything away and then we're going to make lunch. I'm pretty hungry. It's about 1.30 and I want to make a sandwich, a tofu sandwich. So for lunch, I'm just taking some pieces of super firm tofu and I'm just going to pan fry them. I'm adding some nutritional yeast and salt and garlic powder and paprika, just a few little seasonings on there. And I just pan fry them for like five to seven minutes until they get crispy on the outside. Give the pan a shake, let it do its thing. I'm using the 647 bread and I'm spreading some vegan mayo and some of the Trader Joe's Calabrian chili paste on the pieces of bread. We're going to add some green leaf lettuce and some sliced up tomatoes and always make sure to slice your tomatoes i mean salt your tomatoes not slice them salt them on a sandwich add your tofu add that top piece of bread cut it in half and this sandwich is a beauty i also had some leftover vegan mac and cheese from a recipe that i did earlier the week so i'm going to have some of that and some pickles and watermelon and this is a delicious lunch so so good i don't really snack too much but i just want to show you that i've had a couple of pieces of this caramel popcorn from trader joe's it is so good then sometimes i'll just grab like a few harvest snap peas my favorite is a tomato basil flavor but the black pepper is pretty good and i grab a few pieces of popcorn but that's just like it like it's like a few little pieces just to give me like a little extra something so just wanted to throw that out there so you could see kind of what i snack on but again not a big snacker it is currently 4 42 and look i got a new phone case i just got it look at this love it love that color um i'm having a cup of tea i'm having my vanilla caramel tea it's so good i'm feeling very tired today i feel like i needed some black tea to like pet me up and i'm gonna do some more work today is my brother's last day at home before he goes back to college so we're gonna all have dinner together tonight i'm so sad i love when he's home he is like he's just the best i love my little brother so much so i do like don't want him to leave and yeah so i'm just gonna try to do some work get ahead on editing this video actually and That'll be that, and then we'll make dinner in a little while. And yeah, that's just been what's been going on here. Nothing too eventful, nothing too crazy. So 
we'll check back in a little bit. I really wanted to use that turkey ground, so I'm taking it in a pan with some serrano peppers and onion and I'm just like sauteing it a little oil some taco seasoning I'm mashing it up then I'm gonna kind of make like fake enchiladas I'm taking some tomato sauce that I mix with the chili peppers and chili powder and stuff to try to make it more like an enchilada sauce put it in a pan adding the filling to the carb savvy tortillas sauce vegan cheese and I'm gonna bake that at like 400 for like 25 minutes and look how good that looks when it's all done these were really good they're not authentic there's nothing authentic about them but for a quick easy weeknight dinner and something for working with the calorie deficit. Pair it with some string beans for dessert. I had this peanut butter non-dairy ice cream from Briars. It's so good in a cone. Absolutely delicious. All right, friends, it's pretty late. It is about 10.30. I am pretty exhausted. It was a long day. Also, I always check my Fitbit at the end of the day and I did over 14,000 steps today. So a lot of walking, a lot of moving around. That dinner was really good. Those little enchilada things. They're like not real authentic enchiladas, but they're delicious. And I just hung out with my family and my brother and um, just a really chill night. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being here. If you like this style of video, you already know. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you made it all the way to the end, thanks for sticking with me throughout the vlog. And I hope you all are doing well. And I'll see you next week with another video. Bye.